Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if this app can't be activated by the built-in administrator. See help for advice on troubleshooting the issue. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best result, trigger back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select Other Troubleshooters. And then you want to go down to underneath Other and select the a Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter and select the Run button. And I recommend following along with any of the on-screen prompts here. And then hopefully should be able to walk you through to a satisfactory solution. So just give it a moment here. Again, in our case, it just wants us to sign in with a Microsoft account, which you know I don't have on this system. But if you do, I recommend signing in if you maybe were accidentally signed out. So if you were to open up the store, for example, you just would sign in by selecting a little profile icon up at the top and then select sign in. So pretty straightforward. Uh, something else you want to look into here as well if you're still having a problem, if you open up the search menu again and type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should be good to go, and hopefully that was able to help resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.